my purple bandidos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Black. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we found the two remaining sages in a six total in order to help Looker with his search. In today's episode, we are actually going to be making our way to Nimbasa City and then towards Relic Castle all the way back down to the bottom of Relic Castle because from what you guys have told me, there is a Pokemon hiding down there that we are going to catch today. First off, let's go to Nimbasa City. There's also another thing that I would like to pick up in Nimbasa City. I've been meaning to get to it and thanks to your guys' tips, I know almost exactly on the dot where it is. We're going to be finding ourselves an HM, which we've been needing for a while and haven't really found because, yeah, I have no idea where we needed to go for it. All right, so we talked to this little guy right here and we obtained HMO4 Strength. Now, it's kind of strange. Makes me wonder, why is a little boy with blue hair holding HMs? I, I don't know. It's something out there that's making it happen. All right, let's make our way out of Nimbasa City then towards Relic Castle because... Hopefully uh, this fight will be will be pretty good, but I'm not sure I've never even heard of this Pokemon So I'm excited to find out what it's all about. Let's go back down here We've been through this route quite a bit of times actually a lot of times we've been through this route So we're, we're we pretty much know where we're going here I need to use myself a repel perfect that it ran out right there. Hope you guys are having a nice day I finally knocked out my three exams. I've been talking about it took forever but finally managed to knock those out the way. So now I can just have myself a relaxing time until the next one. <laughs> no. Wait, where are my repels? Am I out of repels? Are you freaking kidding me right now? Okay, I was about to say, I bought like a bunch of repels. There's no way I would run out. Let's go up through here then. We are back at the desert resort and let's keep on going. Hey, if you guys saw yesterday when uh, we were talking about the sages, that one quote, uh, the one about people being close to you, and uh, even if they're really far apart at the, you know, the end of the land and the top of the sky, uh, that Sage Giallo said. I've been thinking about that quote a lot, and it, it really makes a lot of sense. It's, it's a really good quote, because, you know, I know a lot of people have friends that are, like, spread out, and I definitely am one of those. Like, I have a lot of friends that are spread, you know, throughout the country. Um, you know, a lot of just friends I've met, uh, you know, thanks to Let's Playing and stuff like that. And it makes you realize, like, you know what? Even if your friends are far apart, you know, they're still close with you. Especially if it's people who, like, really understand you. And that's why I just thought it was a good quote. Like, it really hit me when I read it. I was like, dang, that is really deep. And it makes so much sense. All right, so we're back here in Relic Castle, as you can see. So let's just keep on moving our way down. I kind of do remember where it is we need to go. But <laughs> I, I think it was this one. I, I, I don't know why I always forget. Like, I try my best to remember which ways we need to go, but then I just forget. I don't, maybe I'm a ditz. No, no, I am no ditz. I am no ditz. My hair is not blonde at all. Let's go down this hole then, and this is it. Yes, okay, I know where I'm going. Oh, come on. I got this, guys. You know, a little, little trust. Come on. All right, let's, let's head down this one, and there we have it. Okay, now the toughest part is going to be actually making our way all the way through that mazy puzzle that was the hardest part getting to the sage but i'm sure we'll figure it out here my friends all right let's go back down here no team plasma block in the way this time so we can actually make it through here okay now if i remember correctly i went down this way i went down this way and i did the loop de doop this way yes this way i don't know anymore i'm getting lost wait Oh, this is totally not the right way to go. Wait! This looks like the right way to go. So let's go ahead and walk right in. Whoa, this is definitely a new looking area. And as you can see, up ahead is the Pokemon we want to catch. So let's go ahead and bump into it. Here we go, Rodri versus Volca Rona. So, the battle's on its way. Volcarona has appeared. It is level 70, and we are gonna... Why is Roran up in front? Oh, my goodness. No, that is not happening. We are gonna have Fernia up in front, because if you guys remember, Fernia has False Swipe, and yes, False Swipe is gonna help us catch Pokemon and weaken them down quite a bit. All right, Volcarona's gonna go for the Bug Buzz. I'm actually nervous to see how strong this Volcarona is. Oh, my... 
gosh. Wow. Okay, don't underestimate this Pokemon because it seems like it did a ton of damage. Wow, I'm going for the Surf. I don't think Surf will KO it, but I'm pretty sure it'll do quite a bit of damage. I didn't realize how hard this Volcarona was to catch, and I shouldn't have underestimated it. I was thinking that our Fernia would be able to hold up against it, but maybe not. Let's go for a Surf then. You know, we should be able to... It is like boosting its stats to no tomorrow with that Quiver Dance, and that's not good for us at all. We should be able to land this Surf and then put it in the red zone, and then... I'm just hoping that Roaren can tank. Oh, that is really close. You know what? Let's start throwing some Ultra Balls at it because that's that's about as close as we're going to get it at this point. And we have about 20 Ultra Balls. I did pick up a few. So here we go, guys. It's time to start throwing them and time to start talking nicely to this Pokemon. Because if we don't do that, this could take a little bit longer than we think. It popped out almost immediately. And it's going for a Heat Wave. Oh, man. Come on. Roaren, we should be able to... Oh, my gosh yeah that wasn't very effective at all we only took a crap load of damage i'm going for another ultra ball we need to learn sleep uh we need to teach one of our pokemon a move that puts pokemon to sleep because if not this is what's gonna happen right here we're gonna get just swept right now i'm just hoping that we have one pokemon who can stand up to this and at this point if Roran couldn't do it I'm actually really nervous about it because I don't know if anyone else will be able to. I'm pretty sure that Volcarona is a bug fire type as well. So we're about to find out. I'm going to keep throwing Ultra Balls at it and just hope that we can catch it before all of our team faints at this point. Which makes me a little bit nervous because I don't know if we'll be able to catch it. Come on, Volcarona. Stay in there. We don't even have it all the way down. And at this point... With three Quiver Dances in, I'm pretty sure Volcarona will be able to take down our Pokemon with one hit. Like, all of them. Which is not good for us at all. Come on, one of these Ultra Balls has to hit. Seriously, it should not take this long to catch this Pokemon. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes, there we have it! We have caught Volcarona! Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. So it says Volcarona, it is a sun Pokemon, it is bug fire. It says when volcanic ash darken the atmosphere, it is said that Volcarona's fire provided a replacement for the sun. Oh, so that's pretty cool. I like it. So we're actually just going to go ahead and uh, let's see what kind of nickname we can come up with. So yes, we're going to give it a nickname and I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see what we can call it. Volcarona, it is male. I like this name. I don't know. It just kind of sounds nice. You probably already know what we're going to call it. And we're going to call it Volky. So there we go. Volky is going to be sent to someone's PC. And with that, we have caught Volcarona. Awesome. So if you guys are getting ready to go up against Volcarona, I'm going to go ahead and recommend to you guys have some moves to put it to sleep because that is a crazy strong Pokemon and do not underestimate it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dig our way out of here. And we are going to be back outside of Relic Castle. Good. We are actually going to be making our way to the next city because I actually want to pick something else up there. So if you guys remember, we left off uh, here in Undela Town. And I want to make our way to Lacunosa Town just because we're like right there. So why not, you know, get to that place uh, while we're already there. All right. So let's go to Undela Town. I'm going to heal up my Pokemon and then we'll be able to keep on going. Hopefully, make our way to the next town. Let me go ahead and heal up right here. Let me just take like two seconds to heal up and talk to... Hey! <laughs> yeah! Did you hear about that? Yeah, we caught Volky. Oh, no! No, we we dominate. We caught it on the first ball. Uh, You know, it was still in the green zone when we caught it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You believe? No, you don't? Okay, well... I gave it a shot. I gave it a shot. All right, let's let's get out of here then. Hey, how's it going, dude? Let's talk to you for fun. Hello, boy. Do you have a villa in Undella? Wait, we don't have a villa. We obtained a prism scale, though. It's always good to talk to people in the Pokemon Center because for some reason, these people are going to give you items and stuff, and it's always good. You know, I, I've been thinking a lot. Wait, let me talk to this girl right here. The sea, it's a source of life. The sea, it's a lot of water. So teach us move to your Pokemon and you can dive into the sea. There we go, guys. We obtained HMO6 Dive. And that's what I was looking for, actually. Because you guys told me, talk to a pretty girl in a dress and you will get that move. Now, let's head on northwards and upwards 
see if we can make our way to the next town. And with that, I'm pretty sure we will have unlocked all of the towns that we need to. We are here at Route 13, my friends. Route 13, that sounds quite magical. And let me check my repels. I'm not sure if we, we, we're we going with our repels at this point. Ah, uh, cool, one still lingering. So let's keep on going. I really love exploring new towns. Maybe it's just me, maybe it's you guys too, but just the thrill of going, you know, through a route and ending up in a place that you have never been before is really intriguing to me. I, I just love adventuring and stuff like that, and it's a, it's a really great feeling to be able to do it here in Unova. I've actually, you know, I've experienced, uh, come on! No! No! Doubles battle! So there we have it. Doubles battles are no joke. As I was saying, it's nice to experience new areas and new towns and new cities, and it's always a good time. Now, I don't know which way I'm supposed to go, but, ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna take the high... Oh, uh, no! I think I can cut through here. Maybe this'll take us where we need to go. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna try my best and hope that it is. This looks like it would be taking us to the correct place. Right, right, come on, come on, tell me I'm doing something right, guys, tell me I'm doing something right, and I, wait, I think this might be it, this looks like it could be it, guys, uh, probably isn't, there's no way I got this right, there is no flipping way that I made myself, wait, did I make it, repulse effect perfectly wore off, route 13 has come to an end, and we have made it, to Lacunosa Town. Ooh, fancy name, fancy town. This is kind of a, a nice looking town. Uh, a lot different than the other towns. It seems to be, hey, what is this? Kahoo, kahoo! It's a Minchino? What's it doing here? Just, just chilling? I guess people like to chill around here. And here is the Pokemon Center, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we are going to continue catching Pokemon and start catching some legendaries. So if you guys have any tips, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.